I'm Ari. I'm Brianna. And I'm Kendall, and this is our video on how to identify trees in the southern Appalachia region. When you go outside, what is one thing you notice? If you said trees, you're correct. Trees provide many resources and ecosystem services, such as climate regulation, release of oxygen, and carbon sequestration. Let's look at some trees and their services that help our local Appalachian Mountains. Specific trees important to the Appalachian Mountains and its biodiversity are maples, oaks, and hickories. Maples are an important dominant hardwood in central and northern Appalachia, and they are important for soil enrichment due to their leaf litter. Oaks, such as white oaks, red oaks, black oaks, and chestnut oaks, are important to the mixed oaks forests of the Appalachian Mountains. Hickories, including shagbark hickories, grow to be very tall canopy trees, which provide habitat for the surrounding wildlife. Now that we know how important trees are, let's learn how to tell them apart. The first step to identifying a tree is telling whether a leaf is opposite or alternate. Using a red maple and northern red oak leaf, we can see the difference between opposite and alternate. On the red maple leaves, you can see how they are directly across from each other, making them opposite. On the northern red oak, you can see how the leaves are not directly across, but rather alternating from each other as if they're stepping on each other. The next step is identifying whether leaves are compound or simple. We can see this using the shagbark hickory leaves and the northern red oak leaves. It's important to notice that the base or the bud of a leaf is swollen, and the leaflets coming off the stem do not have a swollen bud. The shagbark hickory leaf grows out of the branch and has leaflets growing from it, making it compound, whereas simple trees, such as the northern red oak, have leaves growing straight out of the branch. Now that we've looked at the first two traits, let's take a look at the last one, the leaf edges, also known as the leaf margins. This is a red maple and a white oak. As you can see, the red maple has serrated edges, also known as toothed. As you can see here with the white oak, it has very smooth margins. This is called smooth. Now that we know how to identify a tree, let's practice. This is a northern red oak. You can tell by looking at the leaves. These leaves are simple and they're alternating. So it looks like they're climbing on top of one another. And it also has a very distinct leaf shape with lobes and pointed ends. As mentioned in the beginning of this video, diverse forests such as those found in the Appalachian Mountains provide a multitude of ecosystem services. For example, Carbons Cove in Salem, Virginia provides the ecosystem service of drinking water for the Roanoke Valley through the forest's tree diversity, and the water gets filtered and stored for human use by the trees. For further education on how to identify the trees of Appalachia, we recommend getting a tree book, such as the one we used in class, or download tree identifying apps onto your phone. So get out there and identify trees.